Hi again, people. It's time. The time has come to tackle the CNC machine once again. Ladies and gentlemen, the CNC machine. Oh, hi, DIY CNC machine. I'm glad to finally see you. I'm really, really sorry I haven't given you enough attention lately. Ah, that's good. So, DIY CNC machine, uh, after all this time, what do you want me to do? Okay, so you want me to fix you? I will try to do that. But in reality, I do not need to fix the CNC machine because it already works, as you can see. I have a couple of ideas I want to do with it and uh, I want to change these linear rails for some supported rails. These supported rails. As you can see the set axis is quite wobbly. Here I have the linear bearings for the rails. So these are going on the set axis like so. And I also want to change the spindle. This is a cheap 500 watt Chinese spindle. And I want to put on this new Makita spindle. It's the RT0700C spindle from Makita. I want this to go here on the new set axis plate. I have made some mounts for this spindle which I'm going to use here. So first I have a lot of measuring to do to find out where everything goes and I have to design the plates in Fusion 360. Then carve them out out of MDF materials on the old CNC and then I can dismantle this CNC machine gantry and put up the new one. Oh, hold on your horses. There's nothing wrong with this video. I only paused it here because the process of me designing the gantry plates in Fusion 360 and making the tool pass and carving it on my CNC machine took a little bit long and resulted in a ridiculously long but interesting video that you have a link for up in the corner here now or down in the description. So if you want to see how I work in Fusion 360 and how I generate toolpaths in the cam environment and how I got the plates for my new gantry out on my old CNC machine. Please go and check that video out either now or after this video. When I now press play I will get back to the building of the new gantry after the plates for the x-axis and the y-axis is carved. Hit play! This is a Chucky Beat production.
Do you remember the Makita mounts I made in another video? I made the, the mounts out of uh, white acrylic. Uh, I thought that would be fine. But I tried to drill uh, holes in them. As you can see, it just snapped right off. Both, they just snapped right off. I have to make new ones. I'm making the new ones out of the 19mm MDF material that I used to make the backplates for the Y-axis and the Z-axis. And I want to have three mounts up on each other. So what I did was go into my computer and I opened the file which I used to carve the acrylic ones. I then copied one of the mounts, so I got three mounts laying next to each other and I had to increase the height of the material to 19.6 millimeters, which is the height of my MDF material. So after I did that I made the G-codes and I sent the G-codes to the Universal G-code Center and I carved three new mounts for the Makita spindle. I had 800 millimeters per minute feed rate and one millimeter depth per pass. Everything went fine except that my tabs have a tendency to be too small so they break off and uh, the material loosens from the stock. This also went fine all the way to the last piece when the tabs loosened and the whole stock loosened and uh, everything went sour. I can use the mounts no problem uh, and I will continue the assembly of the new gantry. Now that I have carved the pieces, we can start assembly. Here we have the set axis plate. I had to go over and drill the holes for uh, the linear bearings because I need them to be 5.5 millimeters so I can get the M5 bolts in the holes. <laughs> Let me show you something. The MDF material has a tendency to crack uh, between the layers in the MDF. If you're working with MDF, you have to watch out for this. Uh, and uh, me too, I learned that now. But here I want to make some um, pieces between the MDF here. And so this will tighten together just fine. Here we have the Y-axis plate. I have the guided rails. Bolts for the guided rails. The mounted uh, bearings. M5 bolts, M5 bolts. M4 bolts, M4 nuts. Well, the time has come. I have mounted both the set axis plate and the Y axis plate. Now is a big moment. I've been waiting for this for a long, long time. Planning and designing and building and ordering parts. I'm going to start dismantling the old CNC gantry. Or at least the set axis plate and the Y axis plate. This is a big moment, so Wish me luck!
Production. 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 Production.